Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, listen, y'all know we call this the mental house right now, and, and, and I know that a lot of you are here um, because initially of the video that I did about brother I, my brother, your brother, Dr. Umar Johnson, right? And I was pretty angry with him, and I said some, you know, pretty, um, you know, just some pretty rough stuff to him because I remember before he got real popular, popular on this uh, lecture circuit, I remember her telling him that I had actually met Frederick Douglass IV and his wife, BJ, um, and... You know, he just went right straight for the throat and told me they were fakes. And I'm like, what? Um, and it didn't sit very well with me. So I began to pay attention to him and his behavior. And although he had gotten more popular, but, you know, because he is a very brilliant man. And most people who are, um, mm, how do I say, borderline on geniuses, they're pretty weird. You know, they can be really off the scale sometimes. And so the video, though, that I did with him, I, although I respect his knowledge of, from history and from that perspective and point of view, there was too many um, things that was showing a red flag with me. Um, and so I began to address it. And so when the situation happened with the stripper, that just sent me... Uh, um, all the way over because, you know, I, I, I could just hear him, you know, talking about blonde weaves and platinum weaves and then seeing him with somebody like that. That just, it took me over the top. And of course, uh, again, a lot of y'all here because of that damn video years and years ago. I don't hate Brother Umar and I want to get that straight. I want y'all to know that. Listen, here, this, it, this is Brother Umar's book right here. Okay, so I have supported him. Um, I have gone out. He's come to my city. Uh, I have had him. I know people people that have invited him to Milwaukee and put him onto the program. Uh, I'm familiar with the people very well. So I was pretty excited when he came here. I wanted to hear what he had to say. I had heard a little bit about him. So. Y'all already, no matter what I said in that video, um, it was because of my disappointment in his behavior. And I knew right then that he didn't have, he there was a lot of personal work that he had to do. He had, you know, his uh, two girls and baby mamas and all that kind of stuff. I was like, uh-uh. I've been involved in this kind of madness before because it started to remind me of some Jim Jones type of stuff. Narcissistic pastor type of stuff. Church type of shit. Stuff, excuse me. So, I, you know, I pushed back, and and after the video, I just didn't really, you know, I might have listened to a few things. I might have heard him on The Breakfast Club a couple of times, but I really didn't, you know, his message to me was just not important. I mean, it was important, but it was falling on deaf ears because I knew that there was too much, too much disconnection with this guy. Then, you know, there was too much stuff happening. Seti, uh, uh, Marcus Sanders. Uh, I mean, uh, Tariq Nasheed, all this stuff that was going on with this individual. So now, now, a video has surfaced about my with my brother in the park, and um, uh, he he's saying things like, "You know, I'm from Planet Garvey. I'm from Planet Nakumba. I'm from Planet. Uh, is it was just Malcolm X. I'm from Planet. Why, 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 I'm." It was so narcissistic and so uh, delusional. It was like all these delusions of grandeur was going around. And he was so manic, I, in my opinion. I, I mean, I've seen the behavior on so many occasions. I've been raised around it. I've been in it, with it, around it, encompassed by it. So I, I know the behavior when I see it. And I was like, this guy is not well. Always ask my people, with no matter what the brilliance that we have, are you well? Because sometimes the pressure and the um, weight 
of white supremacy can make you just heavy and just make you go off the deep end, especially when you know you got a gift or you know you're smart and you can't make it to the next level or whatever it is, okay? Um, you know, you, you, you're going 10 times harder than, than your white counterpart. All I'm saying is I'm concerned about this brother. And I don't know if I'm by myself. Anybody out there like you, like me, have seen him and have feel feel the same way. I'm not here to prosecute, persecute him or anything because he is my brother, and he needs help. To me, he needs you know. He, you know, most therapists every six weeks have to have to take a vacation, and not only that, they have to. The therapist has to have a therapist who is checking on Doctor Umar. Who's making sure that he's okay? Um, because I just don't like what I see. And I'm not here to make fun of him or anything like that. Again, I respect uh, the brother that he is, his intelligence. I don't respect the game that he plays and the con that he's on. You know, that all that, you know, get it how you live. And that's how you live. But what I am concerned about is... Um, what's going on inside your beautiful mind? I don't know. And uh, I just can't believe I'm the only one that have seen that. Him looking disheveled, looking out of sorts, and just really manic and at a park. And it was just real disturbing for me. And I just, again, I hope Omar is okay. Somebody get him this video if he sees it. I wish you well, brother. I wish you well. Nothing personal. As an elder, I just thought I'd look out for my nephew. Take care of yourself. And with that being said, all the rest of y'all take care of yourself too. Okay? Because I get it. But we're going to be fine. As long as we take care of ourselves. And our mental houses. Thank you. See you in the next video.